Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to go very basic step by step and we will learn different formats, different platforms and different ways of creating and viewing reports on test projects. So we will see the different reporting formats. We will see how to email reports, reporting add-ons, how to create reports via SDK and via API. And all through this session, I will discuss some useful tips with you. So this is going to be very interesting. So let's get started and let us first see the different reports and formats on test project. I will go to my test project account and I have already logged in and here you will find a reports link or a reports menu here. And if I go and hover over this, it will show me some of the latest and recent reports. So you can see these are my latest reports and if I go inside the section by clicking on the reports link here, it will show me all these charts. So we have a velocity chart which shows a ratio between successful and failed executions and the timeline or the date range you can select from here. By default it is last 30 days but you can select last 20 executions like this. So it will show me all the distribution for last 20 executions and then you can also select a custom range from here. So let me just keep it last 30 days and here is the velocity chart and then you can also do all these filters here, apply the filters and the next chart is distribution. Here you will see the distribution of test executions per agent and again we have the filters here and here is the platforms chart which shows us the distribution of past failed and skipped tests per platform. So again we have these filters here so you can use them and then the next chart is trends. So it shows the distribution of past failed and skipped tests per job from in the date range. For example if we have selected last 30 days so you can see all these here the distribution and you can also apply the filters like this and then the targets this chart is for distribution of the test cases past failed and skipped status per target that is the browser and the device so for this I do not have any data available and then if you scroll down you will see the projects that I have so I have this web project here mobile project and the demo project and here you will see the number of executions for every project and the pass, failed and skipped count. You can click and go inside the project and this will show you the details of that project. Again you will see all these chart for that particular project. The velocity chart, the distribution and platforms chart here and then you will also see trends and targets chart here. And then if I click here now you can see I'm not getting any results here because in the last 30 days I do not have any tests executed under this project but then if you change the filters or the date range let me select last 20 executions and now you will see the data for last 20 executions and you will also see all these charts here so you can see for all the last 20 executions the pass and failed ratio is here and then all these charts are here and then you can see all these executions for all the tests and jobs and I can go to any of the test execution or any of the job execution and this will show me the detailed report. So here I get the detailed report along with a summary. This shows me the start time, the agent, the duration of the test, number of steps and executed by and here you can also see the platform that is web. Here we have a link for a summary report and a full report PDF and if I scroll down you can see the success ratio and the browser here and then if I click here on that particular test you can go to the test so it will take me to that particular test and if I go back and here if I click on this it will show me all the steps here so these are the steps of this test case you can check each and every step this shows me all the details of every step here and if there will be any failure or a failed step you will also get the details of the failure. Now I will also show you the PDF report so here is a summary report if I click on summary it will generate a PDF summary report and if I now open the report you can see all the details like 
the platform test name project ran by agent started at duration and then the summary of past fail suspended skipped and then here you can see the details of the test cases similarly i can get a full pdf report this will download a full report in pdf format and if i check the report here you can see all the details so every test with all the steps will be listed out in the pdf report so these are all the details you can get in the reports and all the different formats and ways of the reporting and then we also have an option to email the reports now i have also discussed this in the email notifications video uh, but let me very quickly show you if i go to the project i will go to my web project here and here you can see all the jobs which i have created so you can add a new job from here and then select the test cases to be executed in that job and agent we have a separate session for jobs as well so you can check that if you want and here for every job you can see here we have this email notification icon and if i click here email notification here you can select if you want to send an email on start and on finish and on finish always or only on failure all these options you can select and here you can provide the email ids and you can provide multiple email accounts so like this you can set up the email so whenever this job will get executed the email will be sent and just to show you a format of the email so if i go and see this is one of the emails i have got for my web tests and here you can see it shows me the summary here the pass failed and skipped also shows me the time and the percentage of past tests here is a summary on the platform duration result agent everything and then here is a link to check the full report so if i just click here it will take me to my test project account and will go to that particular report and i can see the all the details of that particular report so it has taken me to that particular report on my test project account and here is the here are all the details and all the steps so this is how you can also send a email notifications for reports and then we have options for add-ons now if i go to the add-ons section here here you can see all the add-ons i already have a separate video on add-ons so here you can see the community add-ons or you can create your own add-ons as well now if i search for reports here you will see all the add-ons related to reports so here let me just check we have these two add-ons this is natural language processing engine and then we have a reporting utility so this particular add-on provides an action to report a blank step with a specified message so somebody has created this add-on so similarly in future as well if any new add-on comes here you can check for all the reporting utilities and add-ons and can use it if required it will also be good that whenever you have something custom you want to do some custom action with reporting you can first check here if there is some add-on already available and if not you can always create your own add-ons so here is how you can also use reporting add-ons then you can also do reporting via sdk if i go to integrations and here we have the sdk so here you can have sdk in java c sharp and python so if you are having a framework in java c sharp or python you can get the test project sdk and use it and create your own test cases in your own framework and then once you integrate your framework with test project using the developer token that you will get from here you can get your reports directly into test project now i have already shown you this in the last session if you go to my website automationstepbystep.com you will find a link for test project and this will take you to the test project playlist on youtube and in the last session we have learned how you can use sdk and how you can create your own framework using test project sdk and i have also shown how the reports will come into the test projects platform so if i go back to reports and here i will show you the project that i created using sdk so this is the project the demo project and you can see there are 19 executions if i go inside the project you can see all these executions and all these details as we have seen earlier i present here all the charts if i go to a particular execution 
or a particular job execution you can again see all the details here along with PDF reports and then here you can see the success ratio and the all the tests here so if I go to this test all the steps are displayed here and then if I go to test 2 here again you can see all the steps now here you can see there is a failed step as well this one is a failed step so here you can also find all the details so the details on the message the input value step results everything you will find here for that failed step and we have discussed this in the last session so if you are using your own framework and using test project SDK you can still integrate the reports in the test project platform or when you run your framework and your test all the reports will get uh, all the reports will come here in the test project platform and you can see all the reports here and then all the options of reporting are here for SDK as well so you can use reports via SDK and then we also have some APIs that you can use for reporting if I go to integrations here I have a API section and if I click on API documentation this will take me to the API documentation for test project and here if I search for reports you can see here we have a section for reporting API and here we have a API to show the execution report based on the job ID then you can provide a job ID and particular execution ID and then get the report for that particular execution ID and then also you can get the latest report so let me see this API which is you can get the execution report for a job and for a particular execution and here we have to provide the project ID the job ID and the execution ID so if I click on try it out here I have to give the project ID so I will go to my home and here is my project I will click on these three dots and say copy ID and I will I can give the ID here paste the ID here then for the job ID I will go inside the project and then I have these jobs file upload demo nested test demo run web test I can get any of these job IDs so here you will find these three dots I can say copy ID and then I will give the ID of the job here and then the execution ID so if I go to the reports and go to my particular project so this is my project I will go here and let me say last 20 executions and here I can say I can give a particular I can go to a particular execution so let us say this is file upload demo I will go to this execution and here if I get a summary report or a full report let me get a summary report and from the PDF I will get this execution ID and I can copy it here now this execution ID is for this particular job that is file upload so I should also give the job ID for that particular job and after you have given all these details you can also select the here if you want a detailed response or not and then the format you can select from here and click on execute and this will show you the result so this is how you can use these different APIs for reporting and then you can make your APIs for getting different reports now when you run this API for example if I run this API if I say execute you will also get a curl command here and a request URL so this you can use anywhere if you want to use it into any custom framework you can directly copy this curl or a request URL and you can also get your reports from there so this will be very handy very useful in your frameworks as well so this is how we can also do reporting via API and these are different ways formats and platforms of reporting in test project I hope this session was very useful for you if you have any doubts you can let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as I can and I will meet you in the next session of test project thank you for watching